Good morning. Uh, I want to talk to you for a few minutes about something that's a public health and safety issue. Uh, it's something that's a pretty common habit and it's uh, something that's very likely to cause problems, uh, especially with the coronavirus going around the various things, that, issues that we have in relation to keeping uh, people from contamination. Uh, the difficulty is that very often we all, I suspect, tend to use bathroom time. It's become uh, a time to respond to texts and uh, check Instagram likes and that sort of thing. Uh, given what we are there to use the toilet for, it's safe to say that using a smartphone at the same time is uh, not a good habit at all. Uh, bathrooms are covered in germs and pathogens and uh, in bacteria. Uh, so. Mostly those things tend to come from fecal matter. According to the experts, the most contaminated surfaces are the door and the toilet handles, uh, the faucet and the floor. In fact, studies found that one-fourth of the purses had fecal matter from resting on bathroom floors. Now, I'm pretty sure most of you don't carry a purse, but uh, that's not the point there. Even if you wash your hands, uh, you can still touch a germ-coated surface like the faucet or the doorknob and recontaminate yourself. The amount of germs and bacteria in the bathroom really depends on how often it's cleaned and sanitized, which you can control at home. But with public restrooms, and especially with the plastic outhouses that we're having to use on construction sites, a lot of people are bringing a lot of germs into those places and bacteria as well. So not a good place for us to be using our cell phone. Uh, when you flush the toilet, water with feces and urine sprays about six feet in every direction. And the aerosol uh, increases with every flush. So if it's a public bathroom, uh, there's dirty toilet water coating literally everything, especially the uh, paper toilet paper dispenser because it's right next to the toilet bowl. Any surface that the aerosols settle on can transmit things between people. So every time you set your phone down, it becomes contaminated. Uh, with germs and fecal matter, not to mention that it'll pick up whatever the last person placed on uh, there, which could have been dirty toilet paper, used sanitary pads. You don't have any idea what's landing on those surfaces. According to the experts, there have been outbreaks of uh, norovirus, E. coli, salmonella, uh, hepatitis A, uh, MRSA, uh, streptococcus, and the common stomach flu, all linked to public bathrooms. Uh, urine can transmit pink eye and respiratory infections. If you get the germs and pathogens on your hand in the bathroom and then touch your face, your eyes, your nose, or your mouth. Obviously, we've heard quite a lot lately about not touching your face. Uh, so, yes, clean hands are a must, but sadly, not everybody washes their hands every single time. We all have been in plastic outhouses on job sites uh, where there's no hand san sanitizer that's being provided. So, um, even if you did, you might be t touching the same door handle that was touched by someone who skipped the soap. Norovirus, which is the most common cause of adult diarrhea in the United States, is almost always linked to bad hand washing habits. So you might not eat a sandwich in the toilet, but would you eat a sandwich while checking Instagram after bringing your phone to the bathroom a few hours before? Well, probably yes. And as your fingers touch your phone and then the food, those germs from the bathroom end up right in your mouth. When you bring your phone to the bathroom, it's like leaving without washing your hands. The studies show that 9 out of 10 phones had potential disease-causing microbes on them. 16% tested positive for some sort of fecal matter. So when you use your phone in the bathroom, it's essentially becoming a mobile germ carrier. The average person uses their cell phone for two hours a day, so it's very easy to recontaminate your hands and transmit the germs to yourself or to someone else. If the bathroom is the root of the problem, the best situation, or the best solution rather, is to keep your phone in your uh, pocket or away from the toilet, put it someplace else. If you're home and you know your bathroom's super clean, then you might not have to worry as much, although you're still getting aerosolized uh, fecal matter on it very likely. So just in general, it's not a good idea. Uh, bear this in mind. Germs aside, you're also risking dropping and drowning your phone in the toilet every time you bring it in with you. 
uh, even if the rice trick works and your phone survives, it is going to be totally contaminated with germs and fecal matter in, in every little place. So bear this in mind. Give it some thought, please. And be aware that this is a habit which is a common habit and one uh, that will spread infection and, de and contamination and, and will not be resolved by any other means other than separating uh, you uh, away from your phone, at least certainly while you're in the toilet. Thanks very much, gentlemen. I appreciate it. I hope this is useful to you.